It could be the newest tool in fighting terrorism. Bees? Well, a new article in the British paper The Telegraph says honeybees can be trained to sniff any chemical from explosives to narcotics. And the article says bees could soon be deployed in war zones and airports. Let's get the details now from the author of that article, Reese Halter, a conservation biologist at Cal Lutheran University, who's also the author of The Incomparable Honeybee. So let's bring it, okay? This is, uh, uh, I'm very curious about this story, Reese. There's a practical application here. Is this for real? Absolutely, Alex. You know, it, it, it's so cool because the bees are, are going to foil the terrorists and the drug lords and they're going to protect us by sniffing the, these scents they've got from their antennae. There's 3,000 sensory organs. Okay, how long does it take to train bees and how really do you do this? Yeah, it takes 10 minutes, get this, and we, we use a, a drop of sugar, we put the scent in the, the drop, uh, add a hit of caffeine to sharpen their senses, uh, expose the beef uh, to this for five times, and they remember it with a 98% accuracy. And get this, sniffer dogs only hit it at 71%, and it takes them three months and thousands of dollars. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out, how would this be practically applied in an airport? I mean, you can't just have bees flying around. How's this going to work? No, exactly right. The, the uh, three bees are strapped to a little piece of plastic, and they're put in a shoebox size apparatus, mm -hmm. and the scent is wafted over them, and when the bee detects this scent, it sticks out its tongue uh, as though it's reaching for the, the nectar, you see, and it's, it's foolproof. Okay, so, so you would put these bees, what, I guess, near uh, suitcases, cargo? I mean, really? That, that's how you would do Abs this? A absolutely. Just like they run the sniffer dogs uh, uh, through customs and down uh, in the hold, this is what they'll do with the bees, and, uh, and it's very, very cost-efficient and highly accurate. Huh. Okay, you know, I want to bring up some pictures apparently that we have of the sniffer bees being used in, this, in glass diagnostic tools in the UK in these medical yeah. offices. What's going on here? Well, so also we can use them to detect uh, skin and lung cancer, tuberculosis, diabetes, uh, monitor fertility cycles, and, and uh, confirm pregnancies. So the patient breathes into the apparatus, and when the bee detects the scent, it rushes towards the, the opening. Uh, if the bees are, are uh, undisturbed and stay away, obviously the, 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 the confirmation isn't there, and it's, it's inexpensive, and it's it's great, Alex. Well, I mean, Reese, this all it all sounds too good to be true. Is there any place where this is being used in the fight against terror? Uh, we're uh, we're beginning to we're beginning to roll it out. Uh, security reasons, uh, I can't divulge such things right now. But yeah, oh boy, this is really exciting. But here's the caveat, Alex. Very seriously, we're using five billion pounds of uh, of pesticides each year, and neonicotinoids in particular, and they're wiping the bees off the face of the earth. So we got to get serious and protect our benevolent little friends because they're going to protect us in so many ways you know i gotta tell you your enthusiasm reese i've, I've got to believe you when, when we first read about this story and it was attributed to you i thought no way but you know you're making some good points it's very curious we'll be watching thanks reese halter thank you in a moment